the forehead of your robot. Have you ever played Berserk? I've always been too much of a scaredy cat to ever play it. If you saw what I saw, if you felt the sadness I felt, you wouldn't play it either. It was 1981, I remember it was early Saturday morning, the sun had barely risen. Me and my friend Jeff sat outside of the video arcade. We always got up early on Saturday and waited until the video arcade opened. One time we got chairs we waited so long. Jeff was 19 at the time. He was only a few months older than me. I looked over at Jeff and asked him what time it was. He pulled a leather hand watch out of his pocket. I had never seen it before. Maybe he stole it, he's always been a little rebellious to the law. He looked down at the watch and told me it was 6.30 a.m. I sighed. How come we always come so early? I asked. I've told you this a million times. Jeff replied. I always want to be the first to play Berserk. Berserk? He always plays Berserk. He shakes slightly in excitement as he looks at the arcade machine through the window. We wait another hour. After each hour more and more people began to show up. They had more common sense than we did. We usually waited two to three hours for the place to open. At eight o'clock a man with a short beard walked up from inside the arcade and unlocked the door. Jeff and I with the small crowd of people by our side rushed through the doors of the arcade. Jeff was the first to get to the coin booth. He gave his five dollars to the young man on the other side of the counter. He handed Jeff twenty silver twenty-five cent coins. He clenched the quarters in his fist and jammed it into his back pocket. He ran over to the berserk machine and slammed the quarter into the slot. He pressed the start button and is greeted to a robotic voice to my knowledge says. Attack it. A large smile washed upon Jeff's face. He ran through each level blasting each robot and avoiding the evil smiley face, or evil auto as he's called. I refer to him as the death smile. Invincible, unstoppable, evil. After getting my ten dollars worth in quarters, I pulled out a chair and watched Jeff play Berserk. I always watched because he always was playing it and it creeped me out too much to play it. He rubbed his face on the screen. I can hear him whisper. Come on, come on. Each time he said it, his voice became louder and more violent. It became so loud that I couldn't hear the ambience of people in the arcade. He shot the last robot on the screen and ran into Otto. The screen flashed. Jeff got the high score. He fell to the ground. At first I thought he was joking and I giggled. His body started to flail on the floor. Jeff, are you alright? I asked. Jeff! I screamed. Everyone in the arcade stared at the flailing body on the floor. I dropped to my knees and put my hands on his chest. Call 911! I holler. When I said that I noticed something evil happened. The screen of Berserk flashed again and you could see the demonic smiley face laughing. It was you! I whispered. I always knew that game was sketchy, but not like this. I started to sob. Jeff's body stopped moving. Oh my god! I whispered. I put my head on his chest. I hollered. Where's the freaking ambulance? I lay on his chest for a good ten minutes. I heard a siren coming from outside. In a matter of moments twin men pulled me up and grabbed Jeff. They were paramedics. One paramedic tried to revive him. Clear! He hollered. I saw him shake his head and say. No good. The other paramedic ran to the ambulance and grabbed a body bag. I leaned on the wall next to the arcade machine and sobbed. They grabbed Jeff and put him into the bag. They zipped up the bag. The men picked up the bag with Jeff's lifeless body inside and hauled it off to the ambulance. The two men cut his body into the car, shut the back, and enter the cab. I walked outside and watched the ambulance move out of the parking lot. Jeff died of a heart attack that night. I walked back into the arcade and looked at Berserk. The death smile was still there laughing. I pointed to the machine and said. It was you. Out of anger I drive my fist through the screen. Sparks flare and the screen shattered. I pulled my hand out of the shattered screen and stared at it. There was one shard of glass in my knuckle. A long streak of blood ran down my arm. The owner screams. Hey man, you crazy. To which I reply. No. Just angry. I opened the door and stormed out of the arcade. Apparently this actually happened, there was a 19-year-old kid in 1981 named Jeff Daly, 
who suffered a heart attack after getting the high score. One year later there another reported case, an 18-year-old boy named Pete also died after getting the high score. Pete actually didn't die right after playing like Jeff did, he got to walk away. He walked to another game machine and then he died. At the end of the game, Evil Otto laughs, he was the most terrifying game enemy of all time.